Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, Magic Cat. Pen testing tutorials. And we are going to begin with an application today. I'm just going to kind of run through using UFOnet, which uh, some of you may have heard of, some of you may not. It's basically for controlling a bot army. So if you have a botnet, it's a great little tool. Um, let's, uh, let's go right into it. Okay, so going to the directory here. Um, there we go. Alright, so now you see the UFO net file, but and we would activate it like this, but that's not all. Let's do tac tac GUI. Okay, and then we're gonna hit enter. Okay, so everything looks good. Alright now it tells you down here uh the web page that you go to, um, basically localhost with port 9999. Okay, so we're going to go over to our web browser, and uh, we're going to, I already have a bookmark, so we're going to go to that, there we are, and so we're going to ignore that, because we're going to leave it translated into English. Um, you can hit these, they just kind of give you the different little pop-ups and stuff. Okay, um, it's interesting to look for, you may want to, but we're going to go ahead and start the mothership. Okay, then you face the screen like this, and there are various things you can hit. Now I'm going to hit the auto update just to show you basically how this works here. So like if I hit the auto update, and you see below it, okay, now notice I'm getting feedback below it as if it were a terminal okay and it tells me it's already up to date congratulations it's been updated all that good stuff okay so we know we're up to date now and um, I believe the code link is broken that was the original coders um, website um, I believe he's having issues with that and there's a mirror though uh, but anyway you can still get to the official UFO website and download this from github um we float over wormhole we just float the mouse over it we have a, a cool little javascript that pops up and um, you have your choices now you have your help file but we're going to start with botnet just to give you an example of uh, cool stuff this can do so i'm going to choose search automatically just to be lazy and we're going to hit search and we're going to let it start searching. And here it goes. And I did a search earlier, so some of these it's already gotten. Uh, we found victims here. Here we go. It's finding dorks for your botnet now, see? And it will go through and keep going and going and going and going. Okay. But we're not going to sit through that. Now it'll keep running in the background. I can come over here and, uh, like, all these links are clickable. Okay, so if I want to check out the zombies and all that and test them and all that good stuff, like I can go to zombies. Uh, so test my zombie. goes through and validates it and it's doing okay okay trying and it says waiting for orders so that zombie's good um, and it tells you where the victim was found and all that and it'll go through and see how many zombies it can find um, so that you have a, a network um, you can configure the type of request you can generate a map um, I'm not gonna wait on this because it takes a while but you can generate a map and it will show you what, where all your your little bots are and all that good stuff okay and and, and then you have your inspect screen and um, your attack screen uh, we have uh, it's also pretty self-explanatory 
Okay, so we'll hit return, bring it back here. It ranks you as you go through different attacks and all that good stuff. It's kind of like a video game. <laughs> so pretty neat. But anyway, cool little uh, app. Uh, definitely worth a mention. Um, to kill this, you're going to come in here, control C, and then you should be dead. If not, um, you can do a double check. Just uh, um, run HTOP because here's something I've noticed. It's like it like kills the terminal as soon as I kill that. So it makes me suspect that maybe, just maybe, um, it's still, or at least part of it, is still running in the background. So we're just going to open a new terminal. And uh, if you don't have HTOP uh, installed already, um, you can just apt install HTOP, okay? And that'll grab it for you. Um, HTOP is a handy little utility. Um, so I can look for anything having to do with that. And I, don't, I don't see anything related to that that would be running. So we seem to be okay on that. So I'm gonna. Here's the cool thing about HTOP book: it has it's mouseable. <laughs> all right. So that's all for today. And just like always, remember, um, I don't teach these things for you to use them for, for illegal reasons. Please only use this on networks that you have permission to use them on. Uh, this, these instructions are mainly for pen testers and white hat hackers. Um, you need to be able to think like um, the black hat hacker and able to be a white hat hacker. Uh, to prevent those attacks, you need to understand them and how they work. Also, whenever you test a network for any type of company, you have to do that. Otherwise, don't do this stuff for illegal stuff. Just remember, don't, don't do, do it. it. You'll go to jail. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.